Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my March empties video. I have a ton of stuff for the month of March. I'm honestly like surprised that I finished so much stuff. So let's just go ahead and hop right into it. Okay, this is a lot. I'm not even joking. Let me organize it a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the most interesting stuff first and that is candles. So I finished up one, two, three, four, five candles last month. The first one is cinnamon caramel swirl. Um, this is from, I believe, 2019 um, Christmas, and here's my progress lines. I had this in my project wax for a while. Um, this is gooey caramel, grated cinnamon, vanilla bean, and maple brown sugar. This is a good scent, but for me, it is like way too cloying caramel. So I don't think that I'll ever get this again, but I did enjoy it. And then I have the pumpkin donut shop candle oh my gosh she's my favorite i wish i would have gotten like five backups this is glazed donuts warm pumpkin spices sprinkled with powdered sugar it's so good it's a little dirty something got on it but it's so good it just tastes like not taste <laughs> it just smells like powdered sugar um powdered sugar and donuts yeah that's pretty much what it tastes like it tastes like i keep saying that what it smells like um, but I think I am going to get another one off of Mercari because I'm like really desperate to smell it again. Um, I finished off two Bath and Body Works single wicks. The first is Pumpkin Spice Latte. This was also in my project to use it up. It really to me just smells like milk and coffee. Um, this is fresh espresso pumpkin pie space and whipped cream with a sprinkling of cinnamon sugar. And then peppermint marshmallow. I'm so sad to see this one go. It was so good. Also in my project, use it up. Um, I don't think this one has notes on it, but it really did just smell like marshmallow with a tiny bit of peppermint in it. It was really good. If they come out with it again next year in a three wick, I will definitely get it. And then I also have the Our Own Candle Company Tropical Paradise Candle. It was also my project, use it up. I used it up really quickly. I just burned it in my bathroom. I hated this scent because it smells like hibiscus. It's it's very floral and I hate florals. So I just wanted to get that out of my collection. So I'm very glad to have that finished. Um, but that's the five candles. Let's move into body care because I know that's what you guys, you came from the Bath and Body Works, right? So I do have three hand soaps that we finished. The first is I'll Be There Coconut Lime Verbena. This was also my project, use it up. Um, this is Zesty Lime, Lemon Rubina, and Coconut Water. It's really good. I actually, I would like to get it again at SAS, um, because this would be a really good, like, very hot weather scent. Um, I could definitely see using it in, like, July and August. That would be, like, a really, really good scent for that time. And then I have Love Ya A Latte with Espresso. I love this little packaging. It smelled really good. It's espresso bean, creamy vanilla, and whipped sugar. It smelled so, so good, like espresso like coffee it smelled awesome definitely would get that again and then coconut mint drop which is white coconut iced peppermint and winter musk this one i liked it it's very it's very dirty i think some conditioner got on it i liked it it was good i like the body care better than like the hand soap but it was still really good okay moving on to the actual body care i have coconut mint drop the body lotion um the notes on this it are white coconut iced peppermint and winter musk and it took me about two and a half months to finish so yeah this was so so good i still have a backup i think i have the spray and um the body cream yes because this was so so good i really hope they bring it back again next year it was awesome i finished off winter candy apple in the confetti moisturizing body wash i figured out this year that i like winter candy apple it is candy red apple winter rose petals candied orange maple leaf and fresh cinnamon a lot of uh notes and cut up in your products people you will definitely get a lot more uses out of them but this was really good I like the moisturizing body washes, I think, but the confetti ones are really um, dirty. I mean, not dirty, but they get your shower really messy. So yeah, I don't like the confetti ones, but I will probably get another moisturizing body wash soon. Um, so yeah, the next thing I have is the hydrating body oil in Moonstone. This is from like 2016 or something when they tried to do like a mineral collection. I didn't really like the smell of it, but I do 
really like the body oils. Um, it's been in my Project Use It Ups probably since last March. Um, so I've been trying to finish this up for a while because I just hadn't been using body oil, but now I consistently use body oil every time I shave and it's actually really, really good. The next thing I have is the Sleep Aromatherapy um, Black Chamomile Body Lotion. I've had this for a very long time too, I think since 2015. And it kind of surprised me that it was finished because it's still a little heavy, but it's a glass bottle, so that's to be expected. Um, it smelled fine. I'm not really the biggest fan of aromatherapy, but now that it's gone, I kind of miss it. So I might get another one at SAS or some sort of aromatherapy. We'll see. The next thing I have that's really sad is Sugar Cherry Crisp. I actually finished this off like a couple days into March. Um, I had already cut it open by the end of February, but Sugar Cherry Crisp is so good. It is Bright Cherry Delight, Crumbled Graham Cracker, and Spun Vanilla sh Sugar. So good. So good, that's all I can say. I'm sad I don't have more of that. Um, another body care, and I think the last body care item is the Christmas Candy Cane Hand Lotion. I love Bath & Body Works hand lotions. The scent was okay. I got it at SAS, so like I'm not mad because I only paid like $1.50 or something for it. So it's whatever. It's not my favorite scent, but I do love the formula. So let's move into some hair products. I've been trying to finish off like all the hair product stash that I had. Um, so I did actually finish off three minis um if you know these little mini garnier um i finished off two shampoos and one conditioner i buy these all the time every time i go on a um, vacation and so i had like a bunch laying around so i'm finally through i think most of them i think i have one more conditioner in the shower and then i'll be through all of my travel size stuff so finally it's about time um i have another travel size this is the love beauty and planet argan oil and lavender conditioner um, this is also, I actually really liked this. I might consider getting it again. Um, yeah, I, I liked it a lot, the conditioner and the shampoo. So, um, next thing I have is the Redken Extra High Hold Hairspray. This came in like a set from Ulta, I think. Um, it was okay and it didn't really smell too crazy. Um, you know how some hairsprays like make you choke? Um, this one really didn't. It was okay, but I'm probably going to purchase my, uh, my staple is the Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine hairspray. So I'm probably going to repurchase that, but I just needed to like get this used up and finished. Um, any other hair stuff? No. I do have a few extra, um, Bath and Body Works things. I have some car scent portables. So this one I think is... Vanilla Bean Noel. It didn't last that long. And um, yeah, it lasted like this didn't last like a month. So that was kind of sad. Uh, but now I have strawberry pound cake in and it smells so delicious. Like I really love how it smells in my car. So that was a, that one's a really good one. Um, I have a random nail polish remover. Just finish it off. I like the um, strengthening effect ones. So those are my favorite. Um, I finished off a few makeup products, which I never do. I finished off a concealer, the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Medium Sand. It was actually too dark for me, um, so I was using it on days when I wear a mask, um, which is mostly at work. I would, I'll just put it underneath my eyes, and they don't see the rest of my face because it's like this, you know? So, yeah, I finished it off. I didn't really like it. I might consider getting the hydrating one, um, but we'll see. And then I finished off the Lancome Monster Big Mascara. I really, really liked this. Um, it's just like a little sample size. And yeah, it was a really good mascara. If they have it on sale or something, then I'll probably... Uh, um, I'll consider getting it, but we'll see. And then I'm really proud of this. I finished off a black eyeliner. It just got so tiny that I couldn't sharpen it anymore. Um, this is from Urban Decay. It's the eyeliner in perversion, 24-7 glide on eyeliner in perversion. It was so good. This lasted me probably like six years. I was probably supposed to have decluttered it already, um, but here we are. Um, I have a few face masks in here. So I have some, um, this is from Eye Mask. It's the Hydrating Hydrogel Sheet Mask. This was the last one that I had from a FabFitFun box. It was so good. I would definitely consider buying that again. I really think that makes a difference in my skin. And then I have the Creme Shop Hello Kitty Shooting Stars Sheet Mask. This was, I mean, it was really good. I don't really think, she, a lot of sheet masks don't really do anything for me. 
that hydrogel mask definitely worked um this was fine it felt nice i just like the feel of how cold they are they just feel relaxing so i don't really think it did much but it still felt good and i got it at tj maxx like a set of four for like five dollars so i'm not mad um, I have this Psoriasis Honey Nourishing Skin Serum. I really love this brand. They also have their they have a second line called Eczema Honey, and um, I got this for my scalp. And I've been using it steadily on my scalp after I shower, and it's been really nice. So I might buy it again, but my scalp is actually kind of un under control right now, so I don't really need it. Um, but I would consider buying it again, and definitely recommend it if you have um, eczema or psoriasis on your scalp. I definitely think it worked but be careful if you have thin hair because it might make your hair greasy anyways um i have a neutrogena neutrogena hydro boost water gel this is like the little hyaluronic acid thing i used it as kind of like an essence um and yeah it was it was actually pretty good it felt really nice and cooling on the skin um i probably won't buy it but it, it did feel nice and then i think this is oh i forgot a hair product um, the Head and Shoulders Instant Relief Daily Shampoo. Um, my dermatologist recommended this for my hair when I was having really bad problems with it on my scalp. Um, I don't think it did much, but it did feel nice. So it felt like it was working, but I don't think it actually worked. Um, okay, now the last thing is the Mary Kay Naturally Moisturizing Stick. And this is supposed to be a facial stick, but you can use it anywhere on your body. For a while, I was using it on my face, um, but it wasn't enough moisture for me um, when my skin turned a little drier than it usually is. Um, and so I had actually been using it on my pulse points to spray my perfume on, and it stayed, it made my perfume stay on longer. So that was actually a really good idea. If you have a like moisturizing stick or something like that, uh, or even just like lotion you can do that with your perfumes and it helps it stay longer so that was actually a really good way to use this up but also to make my perfume last so yeah that was everything i'm sorry i went through it like super duper fast but i knew i had a lot to get through um so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know down below something that you're really proud of finishing up last month i am so proud of how many candles i've been getting through you guys it's absolutely crazy and yeah i'm i'm seriously still in shock but anyways if you like this video like comment and subscribe down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye